morning guys morning morning just left my GP um, well I left the GP surgery I got seen by a clinician I was like oh you're not a GP and he's like no I'm a clinician is that all right I said that's fine I just was a bit shocked he said, the GPs, not the GPs, the clinician work alongside the GPs um, with people who have got acute illnesses or whatever. That's what he said. He didn't say or oh, whatever, but I'm just kind of paraphrasing what he said. And I said, I'm just asking because I've never been seen by a clinician before I don't think unless I'm at, at the hospital and then I see like you know not even a clinician I see a nurse the nurse does my vitals and then I see why is that little girl going home she used to go to k school where she's got she goes secondary now and she's walking home Oh, she's looking down at the school like she's... I hope she's okay. She's walking like something's happened to her leg. I, I don't know. Sorry, guys. I'll get distracted. He checked my vitals and everything. And he was like, it seems like you've got, you know, some sort of viral infection that's going around. A lot of cold, cough, that kind of stuff. I said... I said, I am aware. I am aware that stuff is going around. I said, my thing is, I don't want it to go into something else as well. You know, I said, I'm not a hypochondriac, but my chest really has been hurting when I cough and stuff. And it's, the cough is really bad. And, you know, the phlegm is this color and, you know, that's alarming. And there's a bit of blood and that's alarming. You know, just kind of discussing all of the issues that's been going on with everything in it. So I was like, okay. He he took took my blood pressure. He um where's my car keys? He did my pulse. He looked in my ear, looked at my throat, all the all the stuff. And it's just a matter of It's just a matter of um, rest, you know, go home, rest, lots of fluid. You know, the typical advice. You know what I mean? So I said, I've been doing half of those things. Not even half. The only thing I've not been doing is the hot water, the lemon and honey and hot water. I've not been doing that because I don't have any proper honey. I don't like just consuming any and any honey. You know what I mean? We're shaking again. I like to consume like proper, proper raw honey. You know what I mean? That's gonna have benefits. You know? And I don't really have any lemon either. So yeah, that was very interesting. Anyway, that's what happened, guys. I still feel like absolute poop. Um, on flow, aka oop. My monthly cycle is here. I want to talk about something else since we're on the topic of me talking about my health. By the way, before I dive into it, I hope everybody's good. I hope you lot are liking the daily sort of videos. I've got a couple more on my phone that I need to clear out for this channel and also for my budgeting channel. And then I'm going to be coming up with like new stuff as well. Um, the stuff that I'm putting up, it's not old. But it happened like a week, two weeks ago, that kind of thing. Three weeks ago, that kind of thing. It's still 2024 within the last two and a half months or so. So it's not old stuff. You know what I mean? It's still relevant. So yeah, I'll be putting those up. So I've been noticing something strange happening, right? And 
I've been mentioning it to those around me. And they're like, oh, you know, when you've got a child, you know, that happens. I said I didn't have a vaginal birth. What are you talking about? And now I don't want anybody calling me ignorant or anything, but I did not have a vaginal birth. So the symptoms that I'm having has nothing to do with childbirth. Okay? It's not. People who have vaginal birth, they experience different things. People who have cesarean experience different things. Now, this is not to downplay one or the other, right? Please don't get it misconstrued. Let me tell you what's happening. And let me tell you how this, I know that this is not related to childbirth because it would have been hap it would have happened eight years ago, six years ago. You know what I mean? So what the issue is, frequent urination. Right, and when I say frequent, I mean frequent, right? I mean, I'm using my pad again. Yes, I am. Hold on, I need to stock it up. I'm using two. Yes, listen, if you want the content, you've got to work with me, okay? I'm using two pads. Hopefully that stops the shaking, I don't know. I don't even know if you could see me because I'm using the back camera and I can't see myself. But anyway... I noticed for the last, it's been going on for let, let's say tw three months now, let's just say three months, right? That, I can't hold my pee. Now you're not supposed to hold your pee, but I mean, I can't hold my pee. I literally could feel the pee coming down, like relieving myself, not intentionally. It's like I've got no control of my bladder. Let me put it that way, right? If I don't move the second, I will piss myself. I literally will piss myself. And I'm going to be honest, it's happened. It has happened. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mentioned it to my GP a couple of weeks ago. He says, oh, it sounds like you've got a water infection. And he gave me some antibiotics. I will put the name across the screen if I remember when I'm editing. Um, I'll have to go in the NHS app to get the name of the antibiotic. In the back of my head, I'm thinking, why are you giving me antibiotics, but you're not sure it's an infection because you said my urine is come back clear. So why are you giving me antibiotics, right? That's what I'm thinking in my head. I took the antibiotics. It was a three-day course. You take it twice a day. I did that. I <coughs> I'm so sorry. I'm still experiencing the same thing. It's not gone any better. So I'm like, okay, something's going on. I feel like my insides have like fallen out. That's what it feels like. That's the best way to explain it. And I remember saying this to my GP before, you know, like I feel like my insides fallen out and he looked at me they, they be looking at me when I say stuff because I'm pretty straight to the point, innit? So they be looking at me and I'm like, yeah, that's what I feel like. I feel like my insides falling out, you know? Anyway, um, I'm urinating at least six times in the space of one hour. I kid you not. Now, I'm pre-diabetic, right? So I thought, oh, okay, has this gone into full diabetes? Because that's a symptom, frequent urination, right? So I mentioned this, mind you, you know, I'm not a medical professional, but I'm telling the man what he needs to do. Not today, I'm talking about my previous appointment, okay? So he's booked me in for a blood test, which I did, and my test has come up with my marking below the pre-diabetic record but they're leaving it on there for the next year because they have to keep an eye on it right they have to they have to keep an eye on it especially because it's been in my family and stuff like that and i know people say oh it's not hereditary and whatever yeah it's not but sometimes it happens and life is what it is isn't it right so my 
my pads my pads have disintegrated they were like we want no parts of this oh for flip sakes all right i'm home so my numbers came back a bit lower as i was saying but i'm still being kept on the list because they have to monitor it okay so i have to keep doing what i'm doing to make sure i'm completely out of that zone and i'm not getting back a high number when they do test it again which would be in six months time i'm doing it six months because if you don't do it they won't do it and that's what i'm doing because my health comes before their um, their opinions period so anyway i don't know what's causing the frequent urination right i don't know i've been getting this pain in my side i don't have a gallbladder i don't have an appendix i've been getting this pain in my side i'm thinking is it kidney stones what's happening what's going on what's going on i'm trying my best to keep healthy and to make sure that i'm doing what i need to do to make sure that i'm not getting sick or whatever because when you don't have certain organs anymore you have to make certain changes and as hard as it is you have to do what you have to do hence the reason you lot don't see me frequent kfc like i used to i don't frequent mcdonald's like i used to and that kind of things because i have to be very on point with what i'm doing i can't just be eating any and anyhow you know what i mean and just hoping for the best it doesn't work like that so i have to get this looked into i feel like i'm gonna have to call back up my insurance and get them to investigate the issue i'll probably have to get another referral letter i'm gonna give them a call later or probably tomorrow and see where do i stand because i believe that this could be all gynae related as well because it could be that my fibroids have grown and it's pressing on my bladder or it could be just something pressing on my bladder that's not been seen because this thing has just grown since my last scan if that makes sense we don't know where we're at yet but we're hoping it's not nothing major but i'm approaching 40 in a couple of years and when i tell people i be getting the pre-menopausal symptoms they be looking at me like I'm delusional. Premenopause could start as early as 30 and sometimes earlier for peop other people. So don't ever feel like premenopause starts when you're 40 or menopause is going to start when you're 60. Some people experience it early. So I'm not going to be ignorant and be like, oh, not, not me, not me. Mm, God forbid, not me, no. I'm going to be real and I'm going to advocate for it and see what could be done but anyway guys i'm gonna get upstairs i feel like absolute crap i could feel like behind my eyes starting to hurt again <coughs> i could feel like a coffin fit coming on i'm gonna go now but i love you guys and i hope that this makes the best of sense and i'll see you guys soon thumbs up the video and drop a comment below if you're experiencing anything like this either or if you've experienced anything similar let me know. Share it below. You could help me. You could help someone, okay? Bye.